Jesus freak here. Okay, I'm I'm going ahead with the NASB stuff. I haven't yet put the green light on the Spanish stuff. I'm still not confident enough I can manage, but I might go ahead with it in a few weeks or so. We'll see. Anyway, now that I'm doing multiple versions of my videos, I'm going to need to mark them so people can tell which is which. And it's like, you know, I'm not going to change the thumbnails on the stuff I've already uploaded, which is the uh, five KJV videos. But see this, um, know how well this is coming through on the camera. Uh, even though I'm looking right at it, but this is the sword logo here. Nasby videos are going to have a, have that logo visible in the corner at the on the um, thumbnail on YouTube. And the KJV ones. Are gonna have a golden crown in the same place. The golden crown thumbnail is not gonna be there until the January videos, but the ones of the sword, they're gonna appear right away. If you see a Sunday scripture reading with the sword and you're like, eh, I don't like the NASB, that's fine. I'm producing the KJV ones, that's my priority. Anything else is secondary to that. I know I got a dislike on the video where it said I'm just going to use the NASB. Now I'm aware that it's not perfect. And I'm aware of textual issues that the NASB has. They're not as severe as, say, those of the NIV or whatever. But, yeah, I'm aware of them. Now, I do also have to remember that I'm using the NASB under license. And there's rules I have to follow in order to continue to use it. Now, I might not necessarily hit the letter perfectly. I try at least to hit the spirit. You know what the saying is, the letter kills, the spirit gives life. And now although this doesn't specifically say I have to uh, make sure that there's no alterations or whatever, like the NKJV's license grant says. I'm trying to be as close as possible, even though I did manage to download a text copy specifically so I didn't have to type everything over, which I guess that's not the most legitimate stuff, but I think everyone kind of does this kind of stuff, you know, downloading what they already got just to make it easier. My cat's pacing around the room. 
Anyway. I'm not a fan of the capitals thing. The capital uh, pronouns thing. But that's that's a cross I gotta bear. I not in a position to be mucking with the text. Now the the only print copy I have of a ninety five Nasby. I have a seventy seven Nasby as well, but that's not gonna help me here. The only ninety five Nasby I have is this one I'm holding right now. It's a thin line. It's got very small, narrow print. It's not a fancy Bible. It's bonded leather. You know, it's a typical, you know, 10 buck alleys find. And this is the only one I got right now, so. You're going to probably see me use it a lot in the videos. Unless I decide to go through and um, just overdub myself on a KJV video. And I don't think that's going to work very well because of the differences in the text. Also, this is a paragraph Bible and the presentation of my um, video is verse by verse. So I don't know that I've perfectly um, pulled that off. I've made an attempt. Hopefully it's good enough. The hymn videos that are included are exactly the same ones that are included in the regular version. I'm not going to do two different versions of the hymns. English is English so much as that goes, you know, well, all the stuff that's not the now is probably going to be too recent for me to use anyway. And... I was fortunate enough to get the permissions I needed from Lachman. They were very generous. I was like, you know, what's the worst they can do? The worst they can say is no. And if they'd said no, I would have said, you know, I'll skip the modern English version. Maybe I'll just go ask Trinitarian if I can use it their Spanish Bible. We'll have to see how this all comes out. I'm playing it by ear here. Jesus freak out. 